You excited? Yeah, we weren't on the list for some reason. We weren't on the list? We are on the naughty list. Is that, was, is that what's going on? Yeah, basically. Good morning, YouTube. Ignore all the paint splatter on my jacket. I went paintballing yesterday. If you want to see that video, it's linked down below. Went paintballing with my girlfriend and Lunkers TV. I am on the Hello Kitty, the Hello Kitty boat today. We're fishing a lake I've never been to before. It uh, it should be kind of fun. We might actually end up doing a tournament uh, with Jason May. He's here, and uh, he's actually just pulling up right there. He called us all in line with all the trailers, and we might do a tournament. And so it's like 50 bucks a boat, something like that. And so we might do that. I don't know. I'm just hoping we catch fish. I haven't caught fish. I've, it feels like it forever. So that's what we're doing today. Should be a fun time. A little spook action. I'm throwing a spook in freaking decades, it feels like. There's that, bait number one, spook. Second bait right here, a little creature bait. We got Roberto throwing the spook. I'm just gonna start this whole Texas rig and see what happens. Sick. That's what happens when the brake's on zero. Great way to start the day, Flair. Ooh, it's a little nippy out here. Fish don't wanna play today. But yeah, we'll figure them out. I switched to Shiggy Headworm. Roberto is throwing a Mojo Rig. Mojo Rig Fluke, to be exact. Wow. That was Good great. Cast. Well, you know, when you're throwing a 17 pound line and a seven foot heavy flipping stick for a finesse Shaky Headworm, it's not the best combination. I mean, normally I'm throwing like 15 pound braid with an eight pound leader. But, you know, I didn't bring, we didn't bring a bunch of gear. We thought we were going to be power fishing. So, you know, you just gotta, gotta do what you can to make things work. That big girl ate it. That's a fish. Oh, for sure a fish. 100%, yeah. He had it and I went like this and I could feel him. He was just swimming off like that. I let him take it for a second. <clears throat> thinking, yeah, let him eat it. Yeah, he, uh, he ate the worm. That was a fish, 100% a fish. Watermelon red, seven foot flipping stick, 17 pound floral. Rob's not messing around. It's Stanko time, boys. He's, he's not messing around anymore. It's game time. Yeah, there you go. I just missed one. Roberto got one. Had to, had to go all the way down to a Stanko. Oh, wow. All right, I feel better about my life. Nebraska Brute, right there. Flair bringing his fish. <coughs> yep. Right. Skunk's first, out of the boat, though. First fish of the day. Oh. 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 We're good. We're good. Kind of a little bit. I'm, I'm just trying to get out of the way over here. Dude, he just took it and ran. Tiny one. Oh, hey. Second, uh. Second fish. Second Nebraska brute. Come on, man. Right there, dude. He's a little chunkier, though. Rob's doing work on the dude, Sanko. That was, that was like... There's one. Oh my god, okay, I can't, I give up. That dude about ripped the rod out of my hand. Something's wrong with this, I can't, maybe I'm just setting the hook like a freaking idiot. It's definitely a possibility, but. Sorry guys, this is my second day ever bass fishing, so. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. You just wait till this video goes up, be a bunch of pros in the comment. You're setting the hook too hard. Set, not setting hard enough. You're setting it at the wrong angle. You gotta do it at a 33 and a half degree angle to catch that fish. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Get up here, buddy. He basically had me. I cast it up there. I cast it up there, and I set the hook down here. You have. I'm gonna be honest. You probably have one of the goofiest hook sets. Hey. Hey, that was in the top of the mouth, okay? Wait, what was that? What was that? Dude, we are just crushing these uh, Nebraska brutes. Heck yeah. Well, I got, I was just complaining about me. <laughs> I was just complaining about me, uh, all my hook sets, and Rob thinks I got a goofy hook set, but 
Hey, that 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 one caught no, a fish. I don't think, I'm not the only one. Okay, you know what, guys? Comment below, yes or no. Does Flair have a goofy hook set? <laughs> Please comment below. I, I mean, it, it could be a touch goofy at times. That one was really goofy. You were like, like you go, here we go, and you like get a little bit of, <laughs> you like get a, you jumped up like it was like, I was like, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, he's got me in the tree. Oh, he's got him in the he's tree. He's got me in the tree. Uh oh, he's doing, he's dancing and jumping. Oh, guys, I'm feeling a little bit better about myself. I was kind of doubting my fishing skills for a little bit. Rob was putting it on me, the stanko. But now I'm, now I'm feeling a little bit more confident. You just got to let the fish eat it, and then you got to be talking to the camera for about 30 seconds and let them kind of swallow it and get under the boat and then set the hook. And that's pretty much a guaranteed fish catch right there. Oh, golly. That sounded good. No? They're like out here in this yeah, they're not they're not they're up not shallow. Close, Bring your own. Yeah, I know you want to be mean. Oh, that's the biggest one so far. Look how fat these fish are here though, dude. Yeah, dude. That's actually like a good fish. They're just so sh they're so short. So short. Look how fat and healthy these fish are, dude. Nice. So what Rob Rob just realized is uh you know, at the beginning, I don't know how well the audio was. Basically, at the beginning of this video, I don't even know if I, I'll put this part in there because the motor was running. Could have been loud. Anyways, what I was saying is Jason May, you guys have seen me fish with him. I was fishing with him. He's a, he's a pretty local stick. He uh, he was behind us in line on the boat the boat ramp, and he was like, hey, you know, I want to fish a tournament? And we're like, yeah. He's like, all right, 50 bucks. We're like, okay, cool. Well, Rob just brought it to my attention that we've released every single fish that we've caught. Yeah, we, we almost have a limit, too. <laughs> Yeah. Like a tournament limit. Yeah, we, we almost have, we've caught like what, th four? four? We've caught four, and we've released every single one. So, I'm not exactly sure what. Well, I'm just gonna, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna finish out the day, normally fish, but I'm gonna pay him the money because. Yeah, so we're, we're basically just gonna pay Jason because we're stupid. Moral of the story if you agree to uh, enter a tournament, you should probably put the fish in the live well. <laughs> just quick, I like to give you fishing tips, but that's just a, just a life tip in general. A life tip. Life tips with flair. It's kind of important. Oh, Ooh, I saw that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob just had him fall him. All right, this is my last cast. Rob and I haven't caught a fish. Feels like days. We're going to make a move somewhere. Not sure where, but we kind of we beat this bank down like four or five times. We caught some fish. We're, we're figuring them out. We're, we're throwing the watermelon red. I think that's the color. Rob was saying that normally they like black and blue, and I started off with a watermelon red, and that just kind of seemed to seemed to do the trick. So we're just gonna keep on keep on kind of grinding. We talked to one other angler that was out here. That's I think he's competing in this little tournament. I lied. That's my last cast. Uh, that's competing in this tournament, and he said that he, I don't think he had like really any. The other guy we were fishing against has none. So we're actually doing pretty good compared to those dudes, but we're definitely not doing as good as we had hoped. We'll find some fish though. We uh we got we got a little bit of time. We'll we'll figure something out. Oh. So here's one quick obvious tip. I'm sure the majority of you guys know, but if you guys are new to bass fishing, maybe you don't. If you get hung up like uh, I just did, where your line's rubbing on the tree and you're shaking it a lot trying to get it off. Once you get off, it is important to retie because what it does is it puts a little, you know, it weakens your line. It's not really abrasion resistant. I mean, they say fluorocarbon's abrasion resistant, but in reality, it, it does weaken the line. You want to sit there or you want to move? You want to move to a different spot? Yeah, let's move. Okay. Ooh. You got one? That's a fish. Oh, oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. Get in the boat. Woo! You just flipped that from like two miles away. <laughs> Ten feet, ten feet of line, boat flip, baby. He says, oh, that's a fish. Oh, 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 that's a fish. I ripped a nice big hole in his mouth. I'm sorry, little good buddy. Good job, buddy. Way I'm sorry, to go. I'm sorry, little buddy. Good thing for your country over there. Mark right there. And he's got a little, little chomper mark out of there. Good job, player. Way to go. Not a bad little guy. See you, Albert. Albert. He looked like an Albert to me. That's what he told me, at least. Like, hey, buddy, what's your name? Albert. Okay, cool. Yep. Rob and I are done. One o'clock. Time to go weigh in our uh, no fish. We gotta go. We gotta go weigh in the fish that we did not put in the box and pay them fifty bucks, regardless if we won or not, because we're freaking idiots. Well, guys, I am back home. 
I actually filmed an outro and just it somehow deleted it. I probably just didn't even hit the record button to be honest. That's just that's just something that happens. But I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to go see Rob's version, uh, I'll link it down below. His uh, his channel. Go subscribe to him. I had a good time fishing in Texas today. This was like one of the probably worst fishing trips I've taken in Texas. Um, it was just a really off day. So we fished that tournament. Like I think they said like 13 pounds won it, and we probably had I don't know maybe 10. Not nothing crazy. We wouldn't have won it even if we kept our fish. So we ended up giving him 50 bucks. Um, literally because we're stupid and just really fish. We, I didn't really film any of that. It was just kind of pointless. But either way, had fun fishing with Rob. Hello Kitty man. Always a good time fishing in the Hello Kitty boat. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. You want to see more paintball? You want to see more duck hunting? You want to see some deer hunting? You want to see some bass fishing? You want to see some coyote hunting? What the hell is on my, on my foot? Uh, just let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, as you guys know, you know, I'm, I'm primarily a fisher, fisherman, fishing channel, but you know, I'll do other things. Um, as long as you guys are enjoying them, and as long as I'm having fun, then I'll continue to do that. So, let me know. I mean, whatever you guys want to see, airsoft, paintball, you guys want to see me knit, crochet, you know, whatever you guys want to see, you let me know, uh, down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for the support. I am actually headed back to Texas next week, um, fishing a different section of Texas, hopefully for some bigger bass. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Look at this boat wrap. So jealous. I think I think you should get a matching truck wrap. What do you think? No, 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 no. No? no, no. <laughs> no? Hey guys.